Hey guys, it's Joel from GunToter.org. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about AK mags, Kiwis, and placards. Um, so one of the things that came up uh, when I was making my videos about, you know, converting STAC Kiwis to work in the Spiritus uh, and also in the RDR, um, that one should be uh, live now. Uh, one of the questions that came up was AK mags. Because uh, obviously I tend to focus on 5.56 mags because I'm an AR guy. And I think everyone should own an AR. Um, so STAC does not make a Kiwi specifically for AKs. Um, but uh, one of the guys who commented on one of my videos said, Hey, I'm using the 7.62 by 5.1 um, Kiwis for my AK. Now in the interest of attempting to actually speak intelligently on it, I went out, I bought a AK mag, and I bought uh, a couple of the 762 by 51 um, Kiwis, and I'm, I've kind of played with them a little bit. So these are the results of that little, you know, playing around. A um, couple things. One, an AK mag will actually fit into a 762 by 51 Kiwi. Um, and actually, uh, it works decent. Now, if you're asking, why can't I just use it on a 5.56 Kiwi? Um, it's because the 5.56 Kiwi is approximately two and a half inches wide. Um, the 7.62 Kiwi is uh, approximately two and three quarters inches wide. And the reason that is important, if you've ever played with an AK, it has this tab right here. And it has a tab up front, but the up front tab is less of an issue than the back one. Um, that tab uh, does just does not really play nicely in 556 mag pouches. Um, however, as you can see, it does actually work fairly decently in um, a 762 sized one. So yes, there is the possibility that this will work out. Uh, however, I have a couple of concerns and I'm gonna voice them. Uh, this is not necessarily a slam on the Kiwis because once again, they're not designed for the AK. They're designed for more like your SR25, M110 um, style magazines, not an AK magazine. Um, the tallest uh, height Kiwi that they make for 7.62 is the four inch. As you can see, that really does not grip a lot of the mag. Um, I have my concerns about the retention of a fully loaded mag with it only gripping this much of it. Um, I was messing around with it earlier with an unloaded mag and it was sliding more than I would like it to. Uh, now, if you guys wanna go hit up STAC, cause they're pretty responsive, um, they could probably take this up to five, five and a quarter, five and a half. Uh, and I think you'd get more retention. Um, you know, it would basically at that point become an AK specific Kiwi. Um, and so I don't know, you know, how that would work as far as their ability to sell, you know, actually make their money back. But I, th I think it could be done, but I do think it would need to be taller. Um, I, I just don't think the four inch is gonna retain it like it should, mostly because it's not designed to retain it. It's designed to retain a much shorter mag. Um, now with that said, uh, the other issue is because it's only four inches tall, it sits uh, inside a Spiritus or especially inside an RDR. It's going to sit a little differently. Um, now, there should be a picture popping up uh, of a AR mag and an AK sitting next to each other in a Spiritus. As you can see, the Spiritus being only five inches tall or five inches deep, I should say, um, you know, there's a lot of the AK mag that sticks out. So you're gonna have a lip. Um, now, once again, if you had taller Kiwis, I think it would fix that, it would not be as big of an issue, but um, it just, AK mags don't fit terribly well in a Spiritus. Um, once again, because I don't really think they were, des the Spiritus wasn't really designed with AK in mind, I think it was designed more with the 556 in mind. Um, <coughs> and, the next picture that you can see is a comparison, you know, side by side of an AR mag in a five inch and the AK mag in the four inch. And you can kind of see the difference in the amount of grip that you're getting between the two. Um, 
So yes, it can work. Um, if I was going to trust my life on, you know, the, the retention, I don't know that I would. I think I would probably see if STAC could make me a custom five inch, five and a quarter inch uh, tall Kiwi to use, um, you know, with my AK mag. Uh, another thing to think about, um, you've seen my videos on the measurements for both the Spiritus and the RDR. Uh, the Spiritus width wise, you're probably only going to be able to fit two uh, of these uh, 762 Kiwis in a Spiritus. It's just not wide enough to fit more than two. However, um, the RDR, as I mentioned in uh, previous, is a much is, is wider. Um, so it's a larger placard in general. So you know if you're running AK mags. Uh, I would kind of have to give the advantage to the RDR because I, I think that you, you can probably fit a full three AK mags in there. Um, so if you are running an AK um, and you are looking at placards and you're looking at you know using Kiwis in those placards, um, I, I think it's going to be a point in favor of the RDR versus the Spiritus. Uh, that's just kind of my thoughts on that, but um, you know try it out and see. Um, you know, it's, the option is there, uh, you know, the, the possibility of it, of it working and working well is there. I just think there's a, probably a couple tweaks that, you know, you're going to have to keep in mind when you're doing it. So anyway, hope this was useful. Uh, if it was, you know, down in the corner, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. Um, if you are currently running uh, AK mags in the 762 Kiwis and you have really put them through their paces, you know, use them in a competition, weird positions, running, jumping up and down, all that fun stuff, and you know, they've worked out fine, please put that in the comments because I have not had a chance to really uh, stress test these. Uh, you know, I just kind of messed around with them a little bit. Um, I'm quarantined in my room right now. So I uh, can't get out and really stress test them. Um, you know, so that's just kind of what I'm coming off of. Um, you know, we do have a Patreon page if you'd like to support us monetarily, because like I said, I had to, <laughs> had to go buy an AK mag and uh, had to buy the, um, the Kiwis to test this. Uh, so, and that does cost money. Um, if you, you know, can't support us monetarily, I get it. Uh, I do appreciate uh, likes, shares, and, you know, that social media support. So thank you very much for that. And once again, I really hope this has been useful. Uh, I thank you a lot for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.